Have you ever heard of a storm that never seems to end? It sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, but it's a real phenomenon. And today we're uncovering the truth behind the spectacular Catatumbo lightning. This incredible natural light show takes place in northwestern Venezuela, right where the Catatumbo River empties into Lake Maracaibo. Imagine a place where the sky lights up with lightning almost every single night. We're talking about 140 to 160 nights a year, with the storms raging for up to nine hours at a time. It's a relentless nightly performance put on by Mother Nature herself. Now, let's talk numbers, because they are absolutely mind-blowing. The concentration of lightning here is the highest on the entire planet. On average, this area gets hit with about 250 lightning flashes per square kilometer every year. To put that in perspective, some estimates suggest there are between 1.2 and 1.6 million lightning strikes annually in this one small region. That's not just a storm. It's a constant electrifying barrage. What's the secret behind this everlasting storm? Is it magic? It's not quite, but it's a perfect recipe of geography and climate. Here's how it works. Warm, humid air rises from the massive lake. At the same time, cool air flows down from the Andes Mountains that surround the basin. These mountains act like a giant funnel, trapping the air and forcing it to collide. On top of that, a nightly low-level jet stream of wind gives this mixture an extra push upwards creating the perfect conditions for massive thunderstorms to form again and again, night after night, in the exact same spot. This effect is so reliable that for centuries, sailors used it as a natural navigation aid. They called it the Maracaibo Beacon, a celestial lighthouse guiding them across the dark waters of the lake. It was a constant, predictable flicker on the horizon, a true wonder of the natural world. But is it truly everlasting? Well, not entirely. In early 2010, something strange happened. The lightning stopped. For several months, the skies went dark, likely due to a severe drought in the region. This rare pause was a powerful reminder that even this seemingly permanent storm depends on a delicate balance of specific environmental conditions. When the rains returned, so did the lightning, reclaiming its title. If you found this as fascinating as I do, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing stories from our world, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.